into Hooke's law. And what we get is force divided by area is equal to delta L over L naught. Okay. And then finally, we can we can have a, an expression that uh, delta L or force is equal to do I miss anything? Possible by area, I miss an epsilon. Okay, I miss an epsilon down here. So epsilon, okay, uh, multiply by area, delta L divided by L naught. Okay. So I'm going to call our first equation over here, okay, this equation as our equation one. And we are going to call this equation number two. Okay. So equation number one, I'm going to write out equation number one. Okay. So equation number one we get F is equal to KY. Okay. And then we have equation number two. We have what? We have uh, wait. I'm having a uh, what? Stress uh, out there. So force. I'm having this expression over here. Go on. I have this expression over here. Okay. So now I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to equate. I mean, you, you can uh, you can equate both of them. Okay. So we can equate equation one and two. So k multiplied by y is equal to E or equate equation one and two. We have an expression is KY is equal to E multiplied by area delta L over L naught. Okay. So note, that y is also the change in length. Okay, from here, stiffness is equal to Ea over L naught. Okay. So if we were to look at the units, we we what what we have is what uh, Newton per meter squared multiplied by meter squared divide by meter, so this is equal to Newton per meter, and this is the unit for what? For stiffness, okay? So the stiffness for a, stru or, or for a structure is equal to the what? The Young's modulus multiplied by the length, divide by L naught. The longer your structure, the lower your what? Stiffness. The higher the Young's modulus, the higher the stiffness, and the higher your cross-sectional area, the larger your what? Stiffness. Okay. Now, when can I apply this equation and when will this equation collapse like a ton of brick? Anyone? Yes. Okay, so this above equation. The above equation is only valid in well done. 
Why do you say that? There's no bending. So that's, that's, that's correct also, but what else? Anyone? You're right. Okay. Yes. So because we have, we, uh, we derive the equation based on what? Oops, law. Okay. And, and you're, you're right. Okay. Uh, structure. Cannot. Be. Under. Plastic. Deformation. Well done. What else? When will this equation be valid? And when we can take this equation and build it? Rigid body assumption, linear deformation, fine. What else? When will this equation collapse? I used to thought it will always work until I grew older, went through one divorce, then I know not all equations work the same. What else? Okay. Now, there's one more key one. How to discover the operating boundary is based on how this equation has been what? Derived. Okay. Where's one more? Where's one more? Look at, look at all the, what we use. There's one more key one here. Yeah. This equation will only behave if and when the structure is under what's on loading. If it's under bending, so it's written away. Are we clear? Okay, this is what the movie is all about. Okay, a college diploma is okay, force is equal to uh, or stiffness is equal to A E over L naught. Okay, okay. You have to know when this is valid and when not to use this. Okay, be wiser than me. I did not know until I was 13 years old. Okay, you guys are still young. So from here, a big factor to consider, okay, it is only when structure is under Excel loading only. Are we clear? Okay, so this is when it is valid. Okay, and and more about the stiffness or stiffness is directly proportional to Young's modulus. and cross-sectional area uh, and inversely proportional to length okay so this is what remember i showed you the example yesterday with, 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 with the paper supporting my wallet? Yes or no, right? The, 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 the length is also pretty what? High. The cross-section is small, so it's close to what? Collapsing. So that's why paper, when you fold, it increases stiffness, but not, not really sufficient enough. Okay. Okay, any question regarding the spring stiffness? Anyone? 
Okay, no. Okay, now. What about the spring? Okay, so now you, you realize the stiffness. So the, the spring. Okay, stores energy. Right, due to the applied force. Now, when I make this statement, what it means. So if we have now a spring at a certain length, and this length is our L naught. And now if we were to apply a force P at the spring, this becomes L1, and then I will I will stop the motion over here or stop the displacement. So what happened now that all the energy that you use to push the spring to an L1 position and with the stop, okay, you have a stop to, pre to stop the displacement, the spring begin to what? Stores energy. And then when you let it go, what will happen? Right, it will extend on its own. Okay, so in this case, looking at our graph that we have drawn earlier, so with reference to this graph, you don't need to copy this. Okay, we, 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 you have drawn it already. So based on this graph over here, right, the energy is basically the area under the one. Is basically this energy, right? So energy hey, did I write on the right page? Yeah, energy is equal to huh? right? Multiply by uh y or multiply by y and f okay so now we also know that f note that f is equal to what f is equal to uh k multiplied by y okay so therefore energy is equal to half uh, y multiplied by k and then y again so it's equal to half k y squared now you can derive this mathematically in the math form you can also have the expression where you have what where you have uh, i'm trying to where you have uh, uh K or yeah, K is equal to F over Y. And F is equal to KY, right? So you can also derive this that energy is equal to integrate force as a function of dy. So this is zero to y. Okay, so this expression zero to y, this is ky dy. Right? So when you integrate this, you get ky squared over two. Same thing. Okay. So one is directly looking physically with the graph. The next one is deriving based on the stiffness equation. Outcome is the same. Okay. Right. Any questions regarding the spring? We've been through enough regarding springs now. You all know why exactly. The, now, also the key feature about the spring, as we spoke about yesterday, the spring will always oppose to the direction of the what? Applied force. So this complies to Newton which law? Newton third law. Okay, Newton first law is what? Yeah, you guys are scaring the shit out of me now, okay? What's Newton first law? Anyone? 
Yes. Yep. Yeah, object thing, emotion will keep on saying motion. When it's not moving, you're not moving. Sec second law. Yes, I see you by blabbling. F equal to MA. Third law. Okay. Third law is when I punch you, you punch me. Same magnitude, different what? Action. Are we clear? Okay. Come on, engineers. Right. The next thing that we're going to look at that we briefly spoke about is the damper. Or another word, some books you, you see the word dashboard. Okay. Damper of dashboard. So the function. Of the damper is to reduce 